hello to my crafty creators today I will be doing a tray oblong tray and I wanted to do something a little bit different so y'all bear with me okay and I did something a little different you see that I took like cellular paper and I dabbed inked all over it and I let it dry and that's what I came up with and I have some new um, pigment It's by Baltic Day um, this one will be sparkling pearls um, let's see what else I didn't tell you to achieve these colors I'll sit it there so you can see while I'm talking about it I used hot pink teal navy blue and magenta I've used all of those those are my Picasso and I'm so eager to use my new Baltic Day mica powder so I've just opened the Baltic Day sparkling pearls it is pretty <laughs> I hope it's pretty when it's done I have my gold foil that I want to put along the edges so I'm gonna just go ahead and start with that okay so now I'm just gonna try to spread this around the edges evenly drizzle a little bit of the clear up here first only for cellular wrap to go on and adhere to You'd have to put it upside down because you know that your tray is going to be upside. Well, you're doing it upside down and so you want your design to be upside down. So, <clears throat> this is my front. And this is my back. Oh boy, I hope I don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. Okay, and I'm just going to let it sit there like that. Oh, I'm so scared it's going to be, I don't want anything to go underneath it, y'all. That's the little issue that I'm working with right now. Because I'm afraid I'm going to mess something up. Let me put my other glove back on. So as I said, we are working with stone coat countertops art coat. And you see it's really no bubbles in there. So, let's have a go. Slowly from the top.
Mm. I'm going to add some more. So let me wipe my little stick off. Just going to add just a hint more. I'm about out of my stone coat, y'all. Any takers would be <laughs> excellent. If you want to donate? I'd love it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead up to two ounces each. So two ounces for my hardener, two ounces for the epoxy. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to add this, um, the rest of this in here. And then I will get back with you all shortly. So I'll get back with you guys um, when I demold it. Okay, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> and I took some of the mirror pieces that I made surrounding some stones that I made. You know, every time I have 
some extra stuff I just throw stones in those crystals the growing crystals mold or either I'll use these pour it in over this stuff um, even drizzle some on the stones so that they will stay together they won't go anywhere um, maybe I won't lose too much of space that I have but I do want to make sure that uh, these plastic pieces in there this area wrap I want to make sure that it's covered completely Okay, y'all, I am back. ta -da! Let me pick it up and show you. You see all the little gold there on top? I like it. And um, I made, I had bought another mold uh, a couple of weeks, well, a week or so ago. And I bought this stand here um, because I made someone a, um, a family tree and put it inside of a mold. So I said, oh, what bright idea I have. So there, tell me what you think. Nice, huh? It's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but that's it, you guys. I'm glad I brought you along with me so that you can see what I've done. That purple there, you can't really tell it's purple, purple, but it's purple. <laughs> but it looks good. And so, so does the teal. Maybe I have to turn it around this way. There's the teal. But it looks nice. It came out really gorgeous, really gorgeous. So let me know what you guys think and um, I will be back to you on the next one. See ya crafty creators.